had her baby after her double Olympic gold, came back and won gold in Doha in the 100 metres as well. And here she lines up in an unfamiliar scene for her. She's not a, a massive kind of indoor athlete, is she? But this is this is a, a great place for her to start the season. She doesn't do a lot of indoors, but again, some, some athletes, they just choose not to. But the mommy rocket, as she calls herself these days, um, is a phenomenal um, incredible athlete and you know we know what her starts like blistering she'll put everyone under pressure from the get-go but it'd be nice to see how she gets on and it's great for the Glasgow crowd to see her and Amy Hunt in lane eight is an athlete with huge potential she is the fastest ever 17 year old which she was last year before she turned 18 in the world and that is a title that's held in the men by Usain Bolt so of course the comparisons are there and she gauged her season and kind of very well last year many people thought she might end up going to Doha she didn't and she's she's qualified to uh, go to Cambridge uh, as a student next year she's got an incredibly bright future on many fronts but athletics certainly Denise. very promising youngster but lesson she's got to learn she's got to use this experience she's next to Sally Ann Fraser Price and so she had to draw on this all these experiences to make her a, a better athlete this is just the start for her okay well let's see how she does in exalted company andrew cotter yes what a race we have here what a rarity to have shelly ann fraser price and muriel ahuri lining up against each other alongside each other that's a gift to glasgow to have uh, fraser price here for her only indoor meeting of the year so rarely runs indoors but amy hunt goes in lane eight Again, I think she knows that this is a good test for her because she said that her 20 to 30 metres, first 20 to 30 metres are the worst part of any race she runs. But anyway, Amma Pippi, the Enfield and Haringey athlete who's been studying in Oklahoma, won over 200 metres in Vienna a fortnight ago, had a good race with Amy Hunt in London, over 60 metres last month, a fraction between the two of them. Katarzyna Sokolska of Poland is in lane two, strong Polish contingent at this meeting. Maya Mihalinic of Slovenia made the final of the European indoors here last year. Good run in Turun in Poland last weekend behind the American Shania Collins. And then the noise that will welcome one of the greatest athletes of all time, twice Olympic champion, four times world champion, over 100 metres. Says that Tokyo will be her final Olympics. She's going to double up there over 100 and 200, but she's almost built, designed for 60 metres here. They met in the World Indoors in 2014, where Shelley Ann Fraser Price won her only World Indoor title, beating Ahure into second place. But Ahure, World Indoor champion in Birmingham two years ago. Natasha Morrison of Jamaica, her first indoor race this season. Again, it's just a not a well-trodden path from Jamaica to the indoor scene in Europe in the winter, but a strong Jamaican contingent here today. Naomi Sedney of the Netherlands, often a stalwart of the Dutch 4x100 squad with the likes of Jamila Samuel and Daphne Schippers. And then Amy Hunt, still just 17, enormous potential. European junior title last year. This year's a world junior championship year. She's got that to decide on as well as whether to go to Cambridge or Loughborough. Is it going to be world junior championship or Olympics? Again, you have to think perhaps of the, the long term as well, but she is running world-class times now 60 meters not perhaps her strength though she knows that it's just a chance here to test her first 20 30 meters against some of the best and perhaps the very best of all time in women's sprinting shelly ann fraser price in lane four muriel ahuri in five ahuri has not lost an indoor race over 60 meters since 2014 when she gave second best to the woman alongside her shelly ann fraser price the women's 60 meters Cleanly away, and Shelly Ann Fraser Price is out smart as the ball. Muriel Ahuri is going strongly also, but she can't quite get back there. Shelly Ann Fraser Price takes it. 7 1 6 for the victory, just ahead of Muriel Ahuri. Natasha Morrison was up there as well for third, but Shelly Ann Fraser Price gets that victory, a rare victory, a rare defeat rather for uh, Muriel Ahuri. It's not a rare victory for Shelly Ann Fraser Price. She just doesn't race indoors, but when she comes to race indoors over 60 metres, she invariably wins. Ahuri has to give second best again to the great Shelly Ann Fraser Price. And again, if it's to be her only indoor race this season, which she says it is, then it's a nice way to do it. Yeah, this is always interesting, you know, Andrew, when, when athletes such as Shelly Ann comes out to decide to run just a one-off race, I'm always interested to see what kind of condition that they're in and 
you can imagine right now she's still in that building phase, so she'd be pretty strong in the weights room, and again, that's been demonstrated because she fended out the blocks. It's what we expected to see and do, but watch this out of the blocks. Good rhythm, isn't she? Hard, straight into that floor. But, as I say, there's those little extra technical elements that come over the 100-metre preparation, which you don't really demonstrate over 60. So, for me, this is just fantastic to see her here, enjoying the indoor running and really showing the crowd of her expertise. That's the contrast. We know that she's a 60-100 sprinter, really. That's where her strength lies. 200, she's very, very good, but perhaps she just starts to get relatively weaker. And when you see Hunt again on the replay, you can't see her here, but she was starting to come back into things a little bit so some are designed for 60s and 100s and others for for 200s yeah the young brit amy hunt there has got a great 200 meter personal best room and that's what she's european junior champion at so for her it's just fantastic to get this incredible incredible experience with world-class athletes all around her fabulous for that young lady to get the experience and there's sherry ann fraser price taking the victory and she takes the victory amy hunt involved in that race as well and enjoying the experience and uh, they are both down there now talking to jeanette Yes, they are. And Shelley, the nice way to break up the winter training with a good block of indoor running and getting out there in Glasgow. It must always be nice for you. Yes, definitely. I'm excited to be here and I'm glad I was able to come out with a win. I haven't seen the replay as yet, but hopefully it was OK. I mean, considering I came here with the flu and what I had to do today, I'm just really proud and glad that I was able to have a good run. <laughs> And you had ambitions to potentially go to the world indoors this year. Yeah. That isn't happening this time round. But how does that change your training at all? Honestly, it hasn't changed my training because, you know, we don't peak for indoors and we don't do anything different for indoors. We just, you know, train and get to the indoors. But for me, you know, I really wanted to do indoors this year because the last time I did indoors was six years ago. And, you know, it's really bummed that it won't be happening, but you just have to look forward to Tokyo, which is the big one. So, you know, this was good preparation leading into that. And of course, you're going for your fourth Olympics. And somebody who's hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> going for one of their first Olympics will be Amy Hunt. And Amy, wow, what an experience for you, lining up against the greats like Fraser Price over 60 meters. Oh my God, it was insane. Like, it was the most amazing experience of my life. Um, yeah, like watching Shelly as I was growing up. I think you might have won your like first Olympic gold when I was like six. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, it's been like watching everyone and actually racing against them was really like surreal, really mind blowing, but it was such a fun opportunity. I loved it so much. <laughs> And Amy, of course, one of our brightest British stars at the moment, is Shelley standing right next to her. I'm going to give you the opportunity to give her some advice. What would you say to her? <laughs> of course, I'm still trying to catch my breath, you know. I can't believe she was just sick. <laughs> but, you know, for me, it's just being consistent, you know, and taking these experiences as they come and try to learn from them and continue to work because one day your name will call and you have to be ready. So these are the experiences that will help you get ready when your time comes around. Brilliant and stuff. Advice from the best, Amy. Well done, ladies. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's great advice. And Shelley Ann Fraser Price, reminded of her age by Amy Hunt, who is on her way, hopefully, to great things. But Shelley Ann Fraser Price looking to double up in the Olympics, she says. Wonder if Amy Hunt might be running the 200 there. World Junior Championships here, though, of course, as well. Shelley Ann Fraser Price taking the victory here ahead of Muriel Ahuri and Natasha Morrison.